Vintage Kenner Star Wars is one of the most popular and historical toy lines ever made. It's the reason three and three quarter inch figures are as popular as they are today. It's the reason Star Wars has such a huge collecting base and it has so many more historical details. The first 12 though, those are the ones that started off for Kenner. And while the first 12, as you'll come to learn, may be almost perfect, that doesn't keep us in today's world and modern fans from picking that toy line apart. So let's see why Kenner goofed up for the first 12 and why it's only an almost perfect line. Kenner's first wave of Star Wars figures came out in 1977-1978. It truly started with the early bird promotion, but it went on to 12 backs where they released a total of 12 figures. Those figures include R2-D2, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Tusken Raider, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, C-3PO, Death Squad Commander, Stormtrooper, and the Jawa. So when looking at what makes this line so perfect, well, first of all, we get all the main characters. If you're going to make a toy line for a movie, you got to have the main characters. And Kenner hit it out of the park with this one. So, when looking at character selection, obviously we have to have Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, 3PO, R2, Ben, and Vader. So that only leaves us with four spots for potential change and improvement in this toy line. When looking at those four spots, obviously we have to have the Stormtroopers. Very iconic villain, great army builder. And a must-have for the Star Wars toy line, especially starting out when you don't have a lot of options. We're working with 12 spots here, like Kenner was. So we gotta keep the Stormtrooper. Now looking at the Jawa and the Tusken Raider. You know, you're either gonna really like the Tatooine scenes and wanna keep those, or you're gonna say, we could probably change those up and make them better. Well, let's think about this from a toy company aspect. We're gonna need stuff that you can army build. Because once you buy the main characters, you're not gonna buy two Lukes, you're not gonna buy two Vaders, you're not gonna buy multiple of the main characters. So we gotta have something that we can army build. All right, so let's think of aliens. Was there any particular aliens that there was a bunch of? Jawas and Tusken Raiders. All right, so we'll keep those on the list. Anything else we can think of? There's lots of cool aliens, and Kenner will put those out and when they get to the 21 backs. However, if we look at the, the first 12, really, some of the only aliens you can really army build at the time would be the Jawa and Tusken Raider. I think they both have very interesting character designs. They both are easily supported with vehicles and play sets. They're both from Tatooine, which is pretty iconic for that film, starts us out. And as we'd later learn, we're gonna return to Tatooine over and over again. So I think that's a really good choice. Timeless characters in lots of films, and they're pretty interesting character designs. So we're gonna keep the Jawa and the Tusken Raider. That leaves us with the Death Squad Commander. Now, Death Squad Commander here, He's kind of an interesting figure. Is he Imperial Officer? No. Well, maybe. Is he Imperial Commander? No. Kind of? See, the Death Squad Commander does offer us another great option for an army builder. So kids can buy lots of Jawas, lots of Tusken Raiders, and lots of Stormtroopers, and lots of Death Squad Commanders. And I think that's very important, like I said earlier, when you have... So many character spots are taken up by the main gang. How can we make that better, though? Well, the first thing we could do is maybe give it a rebel army builder. We, we could army build stormtroopers. What if we could army build fleet troopers? That would be awesome. And Hasbro, if you're listening to me, please, please, Hasbro, make a retro collection fleet trooper. I've been waiting years for a vintage-style fleet trooper. Yeah, there's customs out there, but it doesn't strike that same accord with me that... I feel like Kenner would have done. Because a lot of people are just taking the, the Death Squad Commander and painting it up. I know you Hasbro can do a better job than that. And I know the Retro Collection version will be awesome. So side tangent aside, Fleet Trooper. Fleet Trooper would have made it probably an almost perfect line. Alright? We could have had all that. Now let's think about X-Wing pilots. X-Wing pilots would have been cool to have. You know, Kenner came out rather early with the X-Wing. Well, let's think about the 21 backs. Kenner already had in the pipeline of the plans to make an X-Wing Luke. So, moving that figure forward would have been pretty cool. Would have been nice to see. But we probably could have lasted until the 21 backs. Besides, that's Luke. It's not really an army builder. Maybe if they put about the first 12, he could have been an army builder. But then you can only really use him in the spaceship scenes. Well, what if we wanted to keep the figure Imperial? Well, we could easily go with a TIE Fighter pilot. That would have been really cool. There's that whole uh, trench run scene where we have TIE fighter pilots. Kenner came out with a TIE fighter pretty early 
And, you know, that was pretty sweet. But, however, that kind of gives us in the X-Wing Luke situation slash X-Wing pilot. You're going to be kind of held into mostly using them in those space combat scenes. And we can kind of stick a Stormtrooper in there already and pretend. All right, so those two are off the list of how we can make it a perfect wave. So what if we went with another specific character, like Grand Moff Tarkin? The Retro Collection would come out with Grand Moff Tarkin, and he's an awesome figure that fits right in with the Kenner line. What if Kenner would have done something really cool and gave us Tarkin right off the bat? Well, is he army buildable? Maybe. You could, you could kind of suspend disbelief as a kid and have a bunch of Tarkins just be different officers. And he is a really cool figure. And he is really important to the movie. It would help us reenact a bunch of scenes from the movie. And while he may be really cool, there's probably better options. So let's figure out what that is. So what do I think could have made the first 12 a perfect launch? Well, instead of the Death Squad Commander, what if we made it the Imperial Commander? This is a great figure design that Kenner put out. You know, he offers us a great army building option, something that we can pretend to be a bunch of different officers, or we could even pretend he's Tarkin. Another great aspect is he's already in the uniform from A New Hope. We had to wait until Empire Strikes Back to get this figure. But when we got him in Empire Strikes Back, he wasn't even wearing the gray fatigues they wore in that movie. He's wearing the black uniform they wore in Star Wars. Clearly, Kenner must have even realized, holy cow, what a better option this would have been. Now, I'm sure you can think of an even better option, and you should let me know down in the comments. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that like button and smash subscribe. Have a great day, and may the Force be with you.